welcome to the Poetry Moment featuring Paula Mien's poem, The Ghost of My Mother Comforts Me. I'm Sarah Luckadoo. Celtic folklore is full of warrior women, queens and hunters and battle-weary fighters. In this poem, Irish poet Paula Meehan connects those fierce women to her own mother, evoked as a ghost who will stand between her child and those who would assault her. Meehan, who has read for the Howard County Poetry and Literature Society twice, was in her early 20s when her mother died at age 42. If her mother, who Meehan said had a ferocious intelligence, had lived a few years longer when more opportunities became available to women in Ireland, she could have turned her energy and intellect to good use, the poet explained. This poem, Meehan said, is an attempt to reconcile her mother's spirit. Born and raised by an extended family of strong women in the tenements of Dublin, Meehan graduated from Trinity College. The first woman in her family to receive a secondary education, she went on to receive her master's in poetry at Eastern Washington University in the US. She is taught in American and Irish colleges as well as in many women's prisons. A playwright as well as a poet, Meehan visited Hoko Polizzo audiences in 2000 and 2014, just after she was named as the Ireland Professor of Poetry. British poet Maura Dooley explained Meehan's poetry this way. It is as if anger, grace, and wit have been hammered white hot into the finest shining tool and ornament. Women's stories are central in Meehan's poems and plays, whether about a real 15-year-old girl who died giving birth at the foot of a Virgin Mary statue, or about former Irish president, Mary Robinson, or female prisoners' struggles with suicidal thoughts and drug addiction. Meehan often calls women warriors in her work, and there's nothing more fierce than a mother whose child is being attacked, as in this poem even if the mother is now a ghost. In the full interview on Hoko Polizzo's literary talk show, The Writing Life, Mian explained, I don't know if there's life after death or what happens, but I do think you're haunted in a very real way by your own personal dead, that you carry them with you wherever you go, and they can be a real source of comfort. The ghost mother in this poem speaks directly to her daughter, vowing that no matter how the Catholic church leaders or nosy gossips attack her, she will keep her daughter safe. Protected by her mother, the daughter can now roam free on the earth, certain that her name will be written in the great book of warriors. A protective mother figure is a reoccurring image in Mian's work. When asked about why this kind of talisman occurred so much, she answered, wishful thinking. And now, Paula Meehan's poem, The Ghost of My Mother Comforts Me. Anyway, the ghost of my mother comforts me. Do not fear daughter when they lift their sticks, their stones, when they hiss beneath their breaths, fallen woman, adulteress, breaker of marriage vows, made before a holy priest to an honorable man. For you, daughter, there is no blame, for you, no portion of guilt, for you are made in my likeness. You can take the crucifixion from your voice. I will stroke your forehead till you sleep, till you pass over into the dream world, where we can walk together in gardens wet with rain, or fly along old star roads, or sit quietly near running water. And when you wake refreshed, you'll be ready for their sticks, their stones, their names that cannot hurt you. Balance your gypsy soul lodged in the body given you, my daughter, for your pleasure and as a tool for struggle against the weight of the world's troubles. Take comfort in the knowledge that you are not alone. There are many like you on the earth, and you will be numbered among the warriors when the great book is written. Because I am your mother, I will protect you, 
as I promised you in childhood. You will walk freely on the planet, my beloved daughter. Fear not the lightning bolts of a Catholic God or any other, for I have placed my body and my soul between you and all harm. Mm -hmm.